The deal signed on Monday by National Carrier and its lenders is said to have been the last of its financial hurdles. The management now keen on taking forward the airline that has been in financial doldrums for the last six years. But even as it prepares for the takeoff, the airline is still launching in the negative territories of its earnings. In its financial report for the half-year period ending September 30, 2017, KQ posted a 3.8 billion net loss representing a 20.5% improvement from last year's performance. This, the management attributed to an aggressive cost-cutting measures implemented in the period under review. The elections impacted heavily the, what I call the domestic and intra-African, uh, but intra-African mainly understood as East African, Uganda, Tanzania, Malawi, Burundi, uh, Rwanda. We, we saw drops by more than 50%. Um, I, I think that uh, what we're going to do is at the next half-year presentation, I'll precise, uh, pr um, give a percentage of drop in revenue because today we, we don't affect it precisely until this period is, is finished. We just see uh, a decrease in, 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 in booking. Operating costs for the listed carrier improved to 53 billion shillings from 53.7 billion shillings recorded in a similar period last year. While it announced that, its other cost went down by 8.1% to 5.7 billion shillings. KQ's passenger numbers also increased 3.3% to 2.3 million in the six months. On the other hand, the airline's intra-Africa traffic improved 6.7% during the period. Andrew Kilemi, Citizen Weekend.